point of the course on, on Friday. When you look back on, on the game, uh, what are your thoughts? Yeah, listen, it's it's a game that we're disappointed to lose. You know, there's no doubt about that. It's a game that we wanted to win. We wanted to get a result. Um, Greece performed better than us on the night. Um, so we can't have any complaints. Uh, but, um, you know, obviously the, the goals are just turning points at critical times for us at the start of each half. And obviously we're disappointed with the two goals we conceded. And that, and that, that changes the, the flow we have the flow of the game. We did well to get back into the game straight away. We nearly scored within a minute of of our first uh, goal conceded and then we got back in and got the goal after that and then we nearly scored within a minute of, of the goal we conceded again. So we responded well at times but um, there's no doubt we could have played that better than we did um, and we're disappointed to lose. And what do you put that down to on reflection? Well, you know, Greece played well on the night. Uh, you know, I, th I think two teams are probably ranked along similar lines. I think they have more experience, but I feel that we have <coughs> more potential. Uh, you know, and I think uh, it's a narrow, narrow defeat. Um, you know, it's a very, very narrow defeat. We've lost by a goal. And we just have to make sure that we respond well and win on Monday. And, and uh, in the games coming up, you know, we've got to, got to respond well and, and uh, you know, obviously they've still got to come to Dublin, so that would be a different situation. Also, you have to change the personnel with Matt already being sent off. Is everyone okay? But would you consider changing the shape of the team as well? Well, there's a lot of considerations. Obviously, I'm not going to discuss the shape of the team here, but, you know, it's certainly a lot of considerations and, uh, yeah, there will, will be some fresh impetus coming in today. Kevin Cooney, please. Hey, James, we're on the eve of CAF number 100. Uh, congratulations, and what will that mean to you? Oh, look, they get 100 caps and join a illustrious club, but obviously, be pretty special. Um, you know, the Cowboys players that's on that on that list, uh, they hopefully join them. Uh, it would be pretty special, not just for myself, but for my family and for everyone who's, who's played a, a part in making that happen. So. Yeah, if, if that's the case, then obviously yeah, it's one that I certainly enjoy. And when you think back on the journey that you've had, what makes you proud as to like what you've overcome and the kind of personal achievement in doing this? Uh, representing Ireland, you know, just being able to do that uh, once is pretty special. You know, that's never had the fact how proud I am to be Irish. Uh, They've given the opportunity to step on a football pitch and be able to affect games and represent the country. You know, I would say that's always going to be probably the the proudest part of it all. Stephen, any injuries for tomorrow night? Is everyone fit? Have you maths as well? And everyone, everyone is fit for tomorrow. Yeah. Obviously, the the result in Greece has led to kind of renewed renewed speculation around you. Do you expect to be in charge for the rest of the campaign and any potential play? Yeah, no, I definitely do. I mean, I think the contract is up till the end of the campaign, and whether it be new, renewed or not will depend on how people feel the campaign went out overall. Uh, but certainly, I fully expect to be. Uh, you know, we want a positive result tomorrow, and that's that's firmly what I'm focused on. Is anything other than a win tomorrow unthinkable? <laughs> in terms of World Cup qualification, or in terms of European Championship qualification, yeah, it is, yeah. Any small ones? Stephen, um, just on that, how, how do you cope with the, the criticism? How do you keep your optimism up? <coughs> um, to be honest, it's, it's irrelevant. You know, it's irrelevant. I just really focus on um, developing the team um, and preparing the team for, for tomorrow. So the, the, there's a lot of criticism, and you know, some of it justified, and I have to accept that. And um, likewise, some of it inaccurate. That's the, that's the nature of it. And I think, from my point of view, I'm not I'm not fixated with it. I'm just fairly focused on what, what we have to do, and uh, you know, I'm just focused on the on the task at hand, which is managing this group of players. That, <coughs> you know. <coughs> 
we're not perfect. Uh, you know, uh, I'm, I really believe in the players. I, you know, I believe in the players. I know people have other viewpoints. I believe in the players. I think it's not perfect. A lot, that a lot of them are not playing at their clubs. That's been really tough for them. A lot of players that some of our better players are not playing at their clubs, and that's been difficult. But that's not an excuse. Um, we wanted to win against Greece. We didn't win. Um, but that is a reality. And other players that should be in the team, but they haven't been playing for so long, and they're amongst our most talented. Um, is a sense of frustration, but that's that's the reality. It's very hard to come out of it, not be playing for months and months and come out and play an international level, particularly a game of the intensity of the night. But that's the reality. But I, I believe in the players that we've got. I think we've got a really talented group um coming you know coming through. I think they were disappointed the other night. If we'd have won the other night against Greece, everything would have been on track. We're going into Gibraltar game, everything great. Now because we didn't it's a catastrophe. And I do get that. Um, but we've just got to focus on tomorrow and uh, and Gibraltar make sure they're ready I know the games are tied previously and I think um, so we've just got to get, get ourselves ready and make sure we get a, get a home victory James, James. Oh, um, I'll just ask you um, the manager said earlier in the week that you could see you giving a look at Modric and playing on it in your late 30s is that something that's on the horizon for you? Well, look. Um, physically, I feel I feel great. Um, you know, I don't feel I've slowed down too much. Um, if I stay injury free, I'm still enjoying it, and I still continue to get picked. Why not? Edley Heath, please. Stephen, because Poy had spoke before the game on Friday about teams like Ireland and Greece needing to be realistic when in a group like this with France and Netherlands. So realistically, do you believe Ireland can finish in the top two in this group? Uh, yes, I do. you know, obviously it would have been a lot easier if we'd have won one on Friday and we made life difficult ourselves, so we're just going to have to get a couple, some exceptional results now between now and the end of the season. And, uh, you know, France, I think, will win the group. I think that's pretty clear. And Greece have to play Holland twice. And we've got to play Holland twice and we've got to play Greece and Dublin. So there's a lot of football still to be played. And um, so I said that at the time of the draw, there's four teams capable of qualifying. Uh, I said that, I was cons you know, I'm consistent saying that. And um, so they've all got to play each other. So we've got to take this set back on the chin and bounce back and, and get a victory tomorrow and take it from there. And just in terms of trying to restore that confidence going into that double header in September. Um, the game tomorrow against sort of inferior um, opposition doesn't really give you, build that confidence that you need for such games that are coming. And coming in at the start of the season, it's going to be so difficult because you're not really sure what's going to come, come into camp. So how do you how are you planning to uh, build that confidence for those games? Yeah, well, I think tomorrow, like you can't look too far ahead. Force, you know, we're here we're here today because we have a game tomorrow. We can't disrespect anyone. And I think. Um, <coughs> Gibraltar, um, you know, it's a, it's a match that we, we have, we're looking to win. We, you know, a game that we, if we're serious about qualifying, is that we, we have to win. So it's, um, you, know, I, I, you know, there's no point in discussing anything beyond that at the moment. I think we just got to focus on that tomorrow and uh, make sure that we're ready. Yeah, uh, Stephen, uh, just on Daryl Shea, obviously injured since the France game, um, did that, how much of his lack of football impact is not playing Friday? Yeah, listen, Daryl Lenehan has uh, had an excellent season, excellent season, and has been the leader for Middlesbrough. And of course, Daryl O'Shea hasn't put a foot wrong for Ireland, and it definitely impacted his, his non selection on one player's cabinet scene. And a game, a game like that, you know, where <coughs> it was going to be, you know, going up against physical centre forwards. And you know, I think it was going to be match sharpness and match fitness is going to be important. How much of how much is the management? I know you don't have much time. How critical are you is of the fact that you have to change so dramatically at half time and after fifty three minutes of your original team selection and your original tactics and formation? You know, listen, I think tactically we change regularly. You know, not just us. A lot of teams change tactically in games. So I think that we we work on two ways of playing. Um, it's not overly complicated. Like we, you know, we work on three five two or three four 
two, one, three, four, three. And um, we, you know, certainly we all the players are very clear. So the the one substitution at half time um, was what it was, a tactical modification. The, the two substitutions I think the three weren't. They were an injection of uh, fresh legs into the team when when James and Jason come on, and um, so they're, they're different. Different. Uh, I treat both selections differently. Well, you, if you had the game, you've gone with the team. You start. You come with the strategy of the second half and the start. No, no. Um, I think um, goals goals dictate everything. You know, goals dictate everything. I think. Uh, you know, we played. <clears throat> you know, some very good games. The three-five-two against Scotland, home and away, um, Ukraine away. So you know, we we have obviously a different partnership. Oba Femi was at the top of his game. Then Troy Parry, they were playing regularly. Really different partnership. So obviously, the Ferries and either partnership. That's their first time playing together. Um, but it's uh, you know that's you know they're both excellent players. They're both capable of playing together. And it wasn't their fault. You know, I think we. Uh, we just didn't link in with a front two the way we would have wanted. Neil Redden, please. Stephen, um, you touched on there they had you won in Greece, and you know things were very different, which I think people would accept. Uh, but the wider context, I guess, is five defeats in the last eight competitive games over the last year. Um, is that a source of real disappointment? And I guess um, not not only disappointment but surprise to you that you, you thought this team would be further along its evolution results-wise by this stage. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, you know, it's a fair question, but I think uh, disappointed. Whatever about, I'm disappointed about the Greek game. You know, I'm disappointed that we didn't, we didn't, um, you know, get the result that we needed. Irish teams, even when they've got some good results away from home, haven't always outplayed teams. They've dug in and. You know, I think the disappointing thing is that even when we took a period of pressure that we didn't see it out and uh, defend properly. Um, so that was the that was a disappointing aspect because the that would have altered the, the way the game would have been would have would have played as well, conceding goals like that as we did. Um, take the second one after half time like that. But listen, we've lost we've lost a game that we wanted to win and we have got to bounce back against the ball. John Fallon? Stephen, you mentioned there from Gavin's question that you expect to see out the campaign. Have you been given any assurance of that or guarantee of that from the FEO? I haven't. I haven't received uh, any assurance. You know, you know, that's not something we do, you know. And what makes you feel that it's a certainty then? I never said it was a certainty, but I, I said, I was asked a question and then I said I expect it. Dammit, Dom, please. Um, James, can I just ask what the, the mood is like amongst the, the players on, on Friday night? Obviously, after a game, there's always a strong reaction. Liam Brady was quite critical about the standard of player at the moment. I don't know how you feel as a group, as, as players, about that. Well, look, I'd be very stupid and naive of me to sit here and take on Liam Brady and criticise Liam Brady, given the caliber player he was and, 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 and what he was. So, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be that. But, in terms of results wise, yeah, there was a disappointment, anger, frustration because we weren't our best self against Greece. We prepared very well for it. We were confident going into the game. That just didn't happen. And that's that happens in football, but look, <laughs> we have a tendency, especially in this country, to get carried away. Especially uh, we were two games on now. This country in the past has shown that we, we have big results on us when, when no one expects it. So a lot of football we play between now in the end of the campaign, so look, again, we're not naive, we know it's going to be tough, very tough, but we have to start somewhere, and that's we aim to do that on, on, on Monday night against in Gibraltar, and then we'll take it again with a thing. Stephen, can I just say, I appreciate it's always very easy to be boys in hindsight, but looking back, did you regret not playing a friendly before? The, I know you have difficulties maybe in terms of securing a game, but in terms of maybe getting you know, minutes into some of the you know, we had the in-house game, but that's life frustration how we've out. Well, listen, you know, the association try to get one at that time of year. It's outside the window, difficult for, for, for associations to get players released at that time of year. Uh, not in the window, you know, I would have liked one, but it wasn't possible. And it's not an excuse. We had a game ourselves and we had it, we, we got it. 
full run out, so I, don't, I, don't, I don't, certainly wouldn't use that as an excuse. Philip Quinn, please. Uh, Stephen, how do you think you're doing as Irish manager? You know, I'm not going to sit here and uh, do a, a full press conference on an assessment of my, my period or uh, in charge or anything like that. I'm here really to prepare for tomorrow. <coughs> the game against Gibraltar, the big game for us. And I said to you, like, obviously I'm disappointed that uh, that we lost against Greece. But we've got to bounce back against Gibraltar and we're firmly sure we can do that. And, uh, and we'll take that into September. Well, you did say there earlier, you said you believe in the players. We're three years down the road. So, you still believe in the players after three years. So Well, it's not, it's not, I mean, player, players have come in in that period, like a lot of yeah. players have come in the last year. Yeah. You know, you can't, you, can't, you, can't, you know, they're not all, you can't, you can't say anything. When you get to the point where you're saying there, we have the team, this is the team I want. We're going to play the way I want. We've been hearing a loss over the last three years, and none of us come through. You know, the record shambled, shambolic. Yeah. We've been out of early campaign, they just started. This one is hanging by, by, by a thread. Yeah, yeah, we're in the World Cup campaign and then we're in the Euro campaign. Like, yeah, Philip, just be respectful of your question. I mean, it's important. Yeah, no, it's, about, it's about time we had a bit of respect from you, to be honest. I mean, like respect at times at press conferences, it shouldn't be tolerated. Mm. Do you know what I mean, to be honest? That's it's, absolutely, it's absolutely terrible at times. Paul, what are you thinking of the players? The players? I mean, the players are back in the possible way. Do you believe in the players? Do you get where? Take this country in the major tournaments going forward. Do you believe in these players that were capable of doing them? I think we are, yeah. I think the players are capable of doing that. And congratulations on your mother's captain. Thank you. Any further questions, guys? Aidan. Captain. Mr. James, captain. The captain for tomorrow. Yeah, James will claim the captain of the team tomorrow. I think uh, John Egan, obviously, uh, is captain um, in Shane's absence. And John has been a great captain, but in discussions with John, He's fully supportive of, of James being uh, captain tomorrow, and uh, he. Uh, it's a special day for James' family. Obviously, I gave James um, his league debut when he was a teenager, um, and to see him get a hundred caps now would be very special. Very very special. Uh, Stephen, um, his first time as manager, Gary said in his view, took players fifteen caps to get to. Grimps to get to understand international football. I think six of the team on Friday had, had less than 15. Are, are they finding it difficult just to, to meet the demands of international football? You know, we've had, we've had a lot of good performances. Um, certainly, um, you know, our previous performance against French, France was, was excellent against the world champions, you know, the previous world champions. It was a narrow defeat, and we're disappointed with that. I think we've come out the wrong side of some epic games, two one, and um, we need to we need to obviously change that against the better the better teams, and we definitely need to change that. We showed here beating Scotland three 0 what we're capable of, but we need we need to, we need more of that, and um, there's no doubt about that. I think uh, you know. Our performance is home and away against Scotland. We're, we're top drawer. Our performance in the Ukraine was top drawer. We're going back to. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to sit here and justify because we've had defeats. It wasn't good enough in Greece the other night, and I'm disappointed that. I know that was an important game for group, and I know we lost it, and I know it's criticism of me because of that. And I, you know, I accept that. I accept the criticism. I can, like I don't think I'm above that. I know that. You know, I know. I get that. Oh, I absolutely, I get it, I feel it, you know, that, that's part of it, that's the job I'm in, I understand that, um, but, um, yeah, no, I do believe in the players, uh, very much do, and we're going into the game against Gibraltar tomorrow, we're going to get three points, and go and take that into September window. Okay, thanks.